the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 287, Matthew 21-23 Jesus' Debate As prophesied by Zechariah, Jesus who entered Jerusalem riding on a donkey, wisely responded to the questions asked by the opposing adversaries. First point, Jesus entered Jerusalem on Sabbath and then resurrected on the next Sabbath and therefore spent his last week in Jerusalem. To outline the last week of Jesus' public life, he firstly entered Jerusalem during Sabbath. Jesus then taught during Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Afterwards, Jesus purified the temple debated with the elders, told his disciples about the end of Jerusalem, and then told them about his second coming. On Thursday, he had the last supper with his disciples, and then headed towards Gethsemane to pray where he was captured. He was then taken to receive his trial. On Friday, he received Pontius Pilate's trial and was then nailed to the cross. Three days later, Jesus defeated death and resurrected. To firstly look into Jesus' entry into Jerusalem, he entered riding a donkey, as predicted by the prophet Zechariah. When Jesus entered, the people praised and greeted Jesus like a king. The people shouted, Hosanna, the son of David. As such, Jesus received a definite greeting when entering Jerusalem. This was during Passover, and so the heights of excitement were indeed soaring. All the diaspora Jews had gathered to come together for Passover at this time. This incident was the most public event during Jesus' three-year public life. Second point. Jesus' entry into Jerusalem, Jesus' purification of the temple, and Jesus' teachings in the temple all led to the Sanhedrin assembly's attack on Jesus. After entering Jerusalem on Sabbath, Jesus purified the temple the next day. At the time, the court of the Gentiles had been removed, and they had made the area into a den of lovers. Jesus stressed, that the temple was a price for the world to come and pray, and this made the high priests and the teachers of the law fear. They decided that it was important to quickly kill Jesus. The reason they feared Jesus was firstly because of all the miracles Jesus performed during his public life. Secondly, they were afraid of the response Jesus got from the people as he entered Jerusalem. Thirdly, they were afraid because Jesus did not make an offering in the temple. Fourthly, they feared that something would happen in the temple following Jesus' purification of it. For these reasons, they decided to kill Jesus. Matthew wrote all this down in order to record Jesus and also to tell the Jews of the Messiah. Matthew chapters 21 to 22 records the five debates Jesus had with the high priests and the elders within the Sanhedrin assembly. The first debate was about Jesus' right to purify the temple. At this, Jesus asked them with what rights John the Baptist gave baptisms. The second debate regarded the tax and whether it was right for them to pay tax to the Roman Empire. To this, Jesus told them to give to the Lord what belongs to the Lord, and to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. The third debate was regarding the marriage at resurrection. To this, Jesus replied that God was for the living and that they misunderstood greatly. The first was the question from the teacher of the law, 
who asked which law came first. And to this, Jesus replied that it was to love God and to love your neighbor. The fifth was when Jesus asked the Pharisees what they thought about Christ and whose son he was. And to this they answered, David's descendant. Jesus responded that David called him Lord, and why he would do so? If the Messiah was indeed descended from him, and thereby made the people unable to debate further. Jesus then used the parables, including the two sons of the vineyard owner and the sins of the vineyard workers. Through these parables, Jesus taught that the Jews would kill Jesus and that the disobedience of the Jews would instead lead to the salvation of all other nations. Third point. Jesus was confronted about tax, resurrection, as well as the laws by the Sanhedrin assembly. Previously, the Sanhedrin assembly had confronted Jesus about various issues in the Jerusalem temple, but they were publicly humiliated through Jesus' answers. And so they came back to where Jesus was for another land. This time, they came with the issue of tax. They firstly wished to spur controversy, and paying tax to the Roman Empire at the time was a sensitive matter. This could have gotten Jesus into great trouble, and this was exactly their motivation. To their question, Jesus responded extremely clearly. Now the third debate began, and the Sadducees came to attack. This time, they asked about the laws of marriage and resurrection, and of course, Jesus had an unbeatable answer. Jesus added that the Sadducees did not know the Bible or God properly, and that they misunderstood. Jesus replied to the words in Exodus in order to teach about resurrection. The fourth debate continued, and this time, the attack was made by the teachers of the law. However, Jesus answered back with all the knowledge of the laws and the prophets as well as God's love. First point, when the Sanhedrin assembly discovered that they could not win Jesus through debate, they decided to kill him. Despite how the Sanhedrin assembly sent their wisest debaters to Jesus, no one was able to win. All five times, they lost. Jesus also questioned them through the Old Testament, but the only answer they could provide was that the Messiah was the descendant of David, of which they stood on their own toes. Jesus corrected their knowledge about the Messiah, that the Messiah had God's spirituality. When the Sanhedrin assembly found out that they really could not defeat Jesus, they schemed to kill him. Fifth point, Jesus rebuked the Sanhedrin assembly with seven reasons and declared judgment on them. Jesus publicly rebuked the members of the Sanhedrin assembly for their hypocrisy. Jesus rebuked them for sitting in the chair of Moses but not implementing the laws, for not having any mercy, for doing actions for people to see rather than for God to see, for being greedy and for their arrogance. To this end, Jesus taught them that he was the only leader and teacher of all humans, and that God was their only father, and that people had nothing to be arrogant about. Jesus continued to rebuke the members of the Sanhedrin assembly, for closing the doors of heaven for people to enter, directing the people into hell, for being greedy, for not having mercy or faith, for being hypocritical, and for rebuking God's prophets. Jesus all in all rebuked them for not taking the opportunity that was given to them by God to restore Jerusalem and to repent. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, 
ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.